on, hold on. I wanna make this better, hold on. We're gonna turn this into like a live TikTok. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> All right, right here. <laughs> All right, hold on. Keep me polite. I guess. Well, I learned that now. I barely chose him before. I usually avoid him like a plague, but now I know why I avoid him. Because you gotta be well ahead to do those, and I was not even like on the floor. Maybe it's called something else. What is that? I don't know what imaginary in theater is. Maybe it's like called a different name. Situation? Ma situation? Hey. Ma ma? <laughs> Wait, I wasn't paying attention. What happened? Why? Hold on, I gotta rewind. I'm sorry. I felt like Lord just got dropped and I was too busy dealing with issues. Possesses the power to transform into a dragon. The method of entrusting the I'm going for the first one I see. I got an achievement, that's cool. I think I'm doing a good job. Oops, I messed up this team completely. Oh, well, it's too late now. Why is Clara here? Why is Clara here? What? Oops. Well, Butters needs to tag How about Simulate Universe? Oh. Oh. We obtained over... I almost hit 18. Does that make sense? This. Oh. Cavern. Oh god. Oh god. Let's not talk. Oh. Your frequent... The mo you are most frequently challenged set. Challenge? We just like get pat. I hate this. It's like literally the worst. Literally the I hate this. Oh, oh my god. All we had to do was follow the goddamn train to see day. No. Eh. Hey, hold on. Uh, I don't know why that had to come out. I had all that time before during the commercial break, break while I was pooping to burp and only now it comes out. Hey, how's it going? Congrats on the first video. Oh, gee, she's on time. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, Andre, how's it going? Ayo. Dippy. Mwah. Always great to see you. Flemat, thank you for the lurky. Super appreciated of that. Um, Urso, what's up? E. All right. So, so, so. Here's the plan. No wonder it's been typhoon type weather today. <laughs> nah, it's just that, um, I didn't get to take my nap. Only when I take my nap am I late, but I didn't take a nap, so I'm not late. Nah, the world's in chaos because she made it on time. <laughs> no, no worries. It's okay now. Why? Because I'm on time now. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she said very confidently, yes. Alright, so let us farm for... Ugh, I'll be honest. Nah, might as well take advantage of the double relics. I suppose. Alright, we'll try again with these. Try to get some healer sets going on.
Hopefully we get something decently usable. And then we get to talk, because oh my god. Oh my god. I, this was a thing yesterday, but I didn't look into it until today. And I'm really horrified. So... Uh... I'm good, I'm tired, but I am very good. Um, no complaints, honestly, today I just went by and was productive and... Let's play for a while. Yeah, I saw another episode of Vox Machina, which is awesome. Oh, I gotta heal Nisha. I gotta heal Nisha, I don't know why he has like no health there. Oh, I know why, because we did like mock with him. That's why. But hopefully you guys are all having a great day today. Um... So, these Pokemon leaks. Um. Should at be. first. Oh, um, hopefully you feel better. So, these Pokemon leaks. Um. Oh boy, where I thought they were gonna be one way. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, oh my god. What do you mean, three minutes past the time? I start on time with commercials. Rag. Also, bruh, can we talk about the Pokemon leaks? What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> yes, there were Pokemon leaks. And there were a lot of random things. Like this chart about what Pokemon are really are really legendaries. Um The writer behind all those stories was a woman. Bruh. Only a woman would put up- would make up something crazy like that, wouldn't she? Typhlosion has been real quiet! Oh my god! Alright. Should we- I feel like a video- <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, really? Oh my god. Is it all from one person? They found the identity of the author of the- Uh oh. Uh oh. You know, Nintendo has been real litigious lately. That woman, that woman is as good as gone. That woman is gonna disappear. And all there's gonna be left of her is a mushroom. A mushroom and a warning. No, 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 I'm not saying that she leaked it. I'm saying the fact that her stuff got out by somebody, they're gonna look at her. Cause no one knows who the leaker is. But the fact that she made that is a problem for a lot of people. Yeah, no, uh, bruh. I have no idea what you guys are talking- Okay, so, recently there were leaks that happened. I don't know how it got there. I don't know- We don't know what or who it was. But, some Game Freak employees got hacked. And stuff, very sensitive information about Nintendo games got out. And, some of them- were like, you know, they showed us what the original starters of Hoenn were gonna be. And, and other ones um, were related to some very unsavory stories involving Pokemon and people doing less than P way, way like PG 13 plus with an adult rated R triple X stuff. Here's an example of one that I remember off the top of my head. What's the name of that? What, what's the name of that? That that octopus Pokemon, the guy, the 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 orange one. Well, whatever that octopus's name is, there is a story, a Game Freak employee story, mind you, where someone, thank you, someone took their wee wee and stuck it in an oct octillery, and then they went and had seconds. Like, there's a- there's some- like, the leaks aren't what you think they- some of them are, but the ones people are more concerned about are the ones you wouldn't think would be a thing you would see from the Pokemon company. Granted, were they official stuff? No. I would say, you know what, why don't we watch a few videos on it while I do my SU weekly? And we shall learn about that. Like, it's- there's one where a guy marries a Ponyta at the threat of killing it if it doesn't. I heard there's some crazy ass stuff with slacking. I heard there was some crazy stuff with Typhlosion. I heard there's a lot of crazy stuff. It probably was just one freaky assistant. 
<sighs> that should not have been on the work computer. It's like literally Vosh when he had his porn in the tax folder. Like, why are you have... You shouldn't have that at all. But if you're going to have that, if you have to be a coomer, can you not do it on the work computer? <laughs> like, if you're gonna... Hey. Like, if you are weirdly insistent on being horny at your job, can you at least put that on the personal computer? If, if you cannot, if you, if it's literally a medical condition where you have to write Pokemon doing it with humans. Like, if, if you're literally, if on the prescription it says, horrible, creepy fanfiction doing it with animals, but prescribed by your doctor. Then I could, it's never it's never okay. It's never okay ever. But even then, why are you doing it on the work computer? Like, bruh. Uh, I knew it was already in the game, but that they went explicit into it. They went into detail. Like, bruh, bruh. I already we I already I know there's books about it. Specifically, it's, it, it began in uh, Gen 3. But you didn't have to go into the specifics the way this person did. To touch you with the match amp in Sun and Moon. It all started from Hoenn, pretty much. <laughs> I was doing God's work. Shut up. I don't condone that hell, no. If you're gonna be a freak. Do it in designated freak areas. Not on the game freak work computer, where a hacker will find it and go, hmm, this is rather interesting, and then leak it out. No, there is no I means. There's no well, sort of, or technically, or to be fair, no. No, don't do it on the on the Pokemon Nintendo computer. Don't do it. There were character files for possible characters with from male employees. Yes, I heard something about one of the gym leaders looking like freaking JLo or Jennifer Lopez of all people, but the girl looks nothing like Jennifer Lopez, so they did a bad job. Game freak, freak off for real. Oh no, I remember seeing those. I'm gonna, be I'm gonna be fair. None of those characters look like them celebrities. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. I'll be honest, the only thing I care about from the leaks is the fact that we almost didn't get Mudkip. We were supposed to get, like, some other bunny as one of the starters in Hoenn. And the little chart of all the legendaries and how they came to be. That's the only one I personally care for. This is why Game Freak ne never becomes a bigger studio or hires new people. This is why Game Freak would never- Oh, oh, we've read that. I was gonna say, what's with the two? Also, oh, thank you, Ursa. Thank you, thank you. I don't know why I duplicate, but yeah. I just thought you felt really strongly about it. Or maybe I didn't see it the first time, even though- that is the first time you wrote that, but that's whatever. Um, we're gonna watch a video about it. A couple videos about it, because I feel we need multiple to understand what's going on. Um, yeah, everyone they try to hire gets access to the company database and nopes out. I'm surprised it took till night to now. Honestly, Game Freak doesn't need to become better. They're getting the Pokemon true. I mean, from the card people alone, do they really need to try? Like, really? Like, Pokemon cards are just literal money printers. You know, that's, not, that's you know, aside from all the other merchandise, and all the other licensing, and the video games, and all that. I mean, I mean, they care about their image. Not Game Freak, but Pokemon, but Nintendo. So I'm sure Nintendo's gonna be like, Ayo. Cause, Cause there's one thing Nintendo hates being seen as, is being anything but family friendly. Like Nintendo really... Oh yeah, no, Vaporeon, sadly Vaporeon's no longer the it girl anymore. <laughs> isn't that one sad, isn't that sad now? Oh, poor Vaporeon. They got all the attention from the memes and now the winds have shifted. It's, it shows because all this came out and nobody cares. They're just memeing. Well, thing is, we don't know the fallout yet. We have no idea about it. Game Freak hasn't taken their game serious since Gen 5. I can agree with that. 
Yeah. It's not the lewd stuff that'll get Nintendo mad. Did you know I made porn? There were entire religious materials and metaphors. Nah, it's not that. It's they, they care about their brand image, and anything that slightly tarnishes that is gonna piss them off. That and also uh, slightly infringing on their copyrights. Even the slightest bit. Which I heard lately, they're getting real lit litigious, so... Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> Where's the sex minigame in Pokemon like in God of War? Oh god. Ooh. What is this? Uh, just general up stuff. Alright. I don't know what happened, but that employee's gonna get rocketed to the moon. To the moon, I say. To the moon. Now, let's look up a video, shall we? Let me just look up. Let's see. I'm gonna pull up a few videos, because not all of them cover everything, but I want a good... There's a part one. Oh, man. Alright. Alright. Oh, it's hard to tell. There's so many videos about it. Um... I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. I was a shut up or so. <laughs> All right. I guess here's this one with lessons in meme culture. Then we'll go. We'll go. We'll work back from there. Let me just pull it up here. Okay. Oopsie. Wrong thing. Damn it. All right. All right, so here we go. We're going to learn about the Pokemon leaks while I do... Oh, let me fix my... We're going to learn about the Pokemon leaks while I do my weeklies. So. Game Freak released a press statement announcing the fact that they had been hacked by a third party, as a large chunk of their work was stolen, including tons of old concept art, game files, and scrapped lore from previous Pokemon games and anime. Worryingly, it also included personal information regarding employees, but that isn't what seems to have the internet freaking out. As it turns out, there are a ton of stories surrounding Pokemon that are extremely dark and a little bit strange. So perhaps they were scrapped for good reason. For example, Typhlosion is having a Vaporeon moment, as it had a story written about it that saw it tricking a human girl into having a child. With it. Yeah, I guess Game Freak got a bit, well, freaky back in the day, but some say they took inspiration from the Japanese badger, which in its yokai form is called a Mujina, and is where Typhlosion got its aesthetic inspiration. A Mujina is known for being something of a shapeshifter, so I guess it would make sense that the lore would overlap, but still, you can guess why they scrapped it. There's plenty of other strange stories floating around too, and it's not Gross. as if regular Pokemon lore doesn't get quite dark, but some of these do go a bit too far. Naturally, the stories have taken the interest of the greater internet, as fans of the franchise, as well as casual onlookers, have continued to go absolutely bonkers over all of the content that has been leaked. <laughs> Apparently, it's gotten to the point where some of the leaks that are being pushed around online are real and some are not, and it's become difficult for many to cross-reference the legit stuff, but for some fans, it's as if Christmas Day has come and every tidbit is a new present. <laughs> it's just fun to peruse beta versions of Pokemon and imagine what could have been, getting a rare, in-depth look at the sorts of visions the designers were cooking up back in the day. There's something magical about that older Pokemon art, especially within the limitations of sprites leading to extremely expressive characters. That being said, there will no doubt be heavy repercussions if the person who did this is found. Nintendo and oh, the for Pokemon sure. Company are known for being extremely litigious when it comes to their properties being exploited in any way, harmless or not, and if they find the group and are able, they will come down with a righteous fury the likes of which the world has never seen. In short, the Game Freak leaks have proven to be massive in scope when it comes to lighting the world of Pokemon on fire, as fans of the franchise rush to uncover every little tidbit, for better or for worse. <laughs> what meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know. All right. Oh, this guy. And I finally get back, and everyone is emailing me saying, Titar, 
There's a leak. There's a leak, T-Tar. Check it. You know my first rule with this leaks. This part one. It's that they don't happen, but there's a freaking lot of emails here. I know nothing about this. All I'm being told is Game Freak data leak. Boys, did I pick the best month to come back to this channel or what? Game Freak just got hacked. Get on Twitter, T-Tar. The whole Game Freak <laughs> The frick you say to me? I ain't going on Twitter. All right, so where I'm being led to is Light central rag. leaks. For all those just tuning in, we're currently covering the Game Freak Terra leak. The frick happened? Lots of source files and beta content for past Pokemon games. That is unbelievable. Are currently leaking along with few details. You mean I'm doing jumping jacks on the beach as this crap's happening? Okay, where did this all start? Okay, I'm going to the start of Central's coverage. Pokemon news related to Detective Pikachu coming October 4th. Shut up. When does it begin? Whoa. Ma Bruh. Here's the first post. Massive Game Freak leak happening. Gen 10. A new multiplayer Pokemon game developed by Game Freak. Oh? Gaia, codename of Gen 10. Show the extended clip from the video I uploaded last. Who the frick got all this crap to leak? Unless it comes from direct Game Freak members that have no life but to dedicate their life working on a game and then also pee out some details. It's fake. So I cut that out of the video, but I said the only way leak is happening is if it comes straight from Game Freak itself. Someone at Game Freak is clearly effed around. Wait, what, what games are those, are Rag? I'm so here. sorry. Okay. Game Freak has My brain been can't this understand those uh, like the abbreviations. Leak from Nintendo a few years ago. It has multiple gigs of info. It includes source code and beta builds of oh, Purple oh. 207 Black and White 2. Beta content is unbelievable. That it's gonna tell us stuff about the lore that we never got answers to. Game Freak Giggly confirms Ounce is the code name of Switch 2. Pokemon oh. Gaia, or I guess just Gaia, is being developed for ounce so is za not if it's not where the frick are the trailers so gaia being the code name gaia is just earth the code names don't mean too much i mean what beluga for let's go which clearly one doesn't have to do anything with the other hayabusa for legends rc oh. which is a if you think of older times and then titan for scarlet and violet which at least is kind of relevant what could you get from Gaia? Well, let's see what the comments say. The freaking Nintendo ounce, man. You dumb frick. Unless it's actually caused called that, then I'm effed. Next post. Guys, this is all confirmed info. This is not a rumor. The files include source code and beta builds. It really is happening. Brace yourselves. More is coming. So the Bruh. proof pudding is that you can't fake having the source code for something like that. Which would make this real. Pokemon codename Gaia has two versions. Why are we talking about Gen 10? It's kind of like what Ku was saying. Remember when Ku said, Don't make me say these out of my mouth. Remember when Ku was saying that Legends yeah, is not a big deal? The codename has two versions version K and version N. Shut up with your common question of the day. Yeah. Well, uh oh, they confirmed it. Uh oh. Though, uh -oh. Japan has a lot of fun basing titles off English, right? It's not called Pokemon Black and White as said in Japanese. It's like Buraku. These mans really like English. Pokemon Knight and Pokemon Ninja? No shot. What is it though? Uh, this man has just made a bunch of crazy Japanese words. Pokemon Knowledge? And what's the opposite of knowledge? Natural. Kaze and Nami, that's a good one. So wind and then water waves. What? And even though it's Japanese, those are pretty simple words if they're running out of English oh titles. Oh my god, to base I don't a new know. Name off. What the frick does this? Everyone just copy and paste someone else's answers? Holy frick, I could just keep scrolling up. Let's go to the next post. Known leak wrote Necrolype <laughs> claims that Pokemon Gen 10 will be for both Switch 1 and Switch 2. Okay, this would be a good move. Just like when the PS5 came out. You still make games for the PS4 as well. So I'm still waiting for the proof. I'm still waiting to see some hard gold source code. Then this will start to look more real. But hey, something very odd is happening here. We can confirm the leak includes a mention of a Switch 1 version of Pokemon Gaia. So yes, they are at least testing it on Switch 1. Whether 
they will end up releasing it, we'll have to see. Bro, you just said this already. I believe separate versions, that's a good idea as well. That's how they did Mystery Dungeon, right? Red was on the Game Boy, Blue was on the DS. That's a pretty unique thing Pokemon could do. Kind of helps hmm. if you could split the teams and properly focus on the two systems like that. True, Kuma. They showed it worked for Mystery I Dungeon. They should that. just totally do that. Oh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver scrapped music. Well, it sounds like some kind of credit music or a peaceful town, but also sounds like surfing music or a mm -hmm. safari zone. Bless your people. Could be say. a safari Very zone. Very good, beautiful, good. Andre, you're the same person. Who the hell is this? The freaking internet is fake. How does everyone have the exact mm -hmm. same response? The beginning almost makes it sound like a type of dive music. The beginning almost makes it sound like a type of dive music. The beginnings, they're totally different accounts. Oh my God. And then sometimes alternate wording. I tell you what, there's one opinion on the internet and that's copied to everyone. Here's the next post. Codename Synapse. A new Pokemon game developed in collaboration with Game Freak and ILCA. So this would sound like it's Pokemon Bruh. Works, that new company. It's a multiplayer slash <laughs> battle-focused game. Multiplayer would make sense. Synapses are the way neurons connect with each other, all the little connections. So it would connect online like a bunch of synapses. Pokemon MMO in development? And some of the files list MMO. This is being described as a Splatoon-like game. Unclear exactly what they mean by that. If I try to visualize what they mean by this, it might be a game like Overwatch, where you have like four Pokemon, you fight against another player and therefore Pokemon, but you're actually controlling the Pokemon itself like a Charizard and in some kind of capture the flag situation. Listen, keep getting that. That sounds cool, Pokemon. actually. I wonder if it's a real game, but there's too much going on right now. I want to kind of bring it back down to Legends EA. Let's go to the next post. Canceled Game Freak DS game about fighting and rising bugs. Raising? You could also fuse them. Wow, Game huh? Freak. Makes me feel so bad this was cancelled. This must have been back in early 2004 days. Next post. Beta Team Galactic. Hey! <laughs> so they started off more horny. <laughs> kind of sobered up. Unless you're saying both sprites existed in the game. <laughs> like you fight her in the hider and she's less dressed. Who is this girl? Jupiter? Keep it up, Pokemon. They hide it a bit better nowadays, but they still the same. So yeah, this is the <laughs> sprite in the final game. She has the full clothes on. She has the shirt underneath and all. So it's pretty much. Never mind. I guess they were always screenshot. horny. That's what she ultimately became. So originally, her hair was a bit different with like more bangs. She had a bit more of an evil smile, and then she just wore less clothes. No, she used to wear a freaking dress. And then they transformed the dress into the dress part being just one leg's clothes. That's so funny to see them actually transform the dress like that. I mean, look at her final design right here, right? This whole unmatched crap, it was supposed to just be a dress. Honestly, I, I like this design more. But considering both are shown here in this I prefer the dress it more. Might quite literally have been that. So when you fight Jupiter out somewhere in a cave, like where the magic carp are all flopping, then she's got her full uniform on. But if you fight her in the hideout, she's dressed more casually. That would actually be sick. Oh, there's more. Hey, don't have a holy freak. There's one for all of That's fire. That looks cool as fuck. Listen, I have so little to work with. Let me be excited. That has to be what it is. They have casual outfits while they're uh... And then they have different outfits. Galactic got cut there. Bro, they put more spirit in these mans. Is there one more? Ooh. Why oh. does that man look cool? <laughs> Wait a that second. looks Wait sick. A second. So you had a cool character for once. And you did that? That's like as cool uh, as he like He's strong too. Uh, That's like a uniform. How could you turn him into that? That's not fair. Because I wanted to you see know, if they so would take the bait. Jacks on the beach. Next they took post. the bait. Oh, wow. The official map editor for Gen 3 is included in the leak. Wow. 
This is how y'all did it? If the source code got leaked for Harkled and Soul Silver and Black and White 2, does that mean we have a better way to make ROM hacks of them? Like, could someone Ooh. take the Black and White 2 engine and make a whole unique story? Just, it would take a lot of work, but it's more doable now. Yeah, so you've got all the tiles you need here. You just make whatever map you want. Bro, this is a dream for Kid Me. That boy dead, though. Pokemon RPG <laughs> Maker when? It would obviously be nice if we Ooh, had like a Mario that would be Maker sick. for Pokemon games, but how far could you really go with that? The Very far. thing they could do is in a game like BDSP where it's more tile-based, that they let every character design not just their own secret base, but their own secret island. And you can customize it like Animal Crossing to look however you want. And for that, they could have mm. some kind of map editor. It's still doable with like sword and shield or legends graphics but it's of course more limited obviously none of that is what this is talking about it's just what the creators were using when they're designing all their maps this is unbelievable i'm kind of curious what ku is saying during this let me just check ku and see if he gives any credence oh shoot i've seen a ton of awesome hit. roms you knew its code name today from you know where too much water okay so the hint is too much water but we're gonna forget that bit and just focus on the bit where he pretty much tells us these leaks are relevant. Ku, are you not teasing the ZA starters because we already know them? You think he's gonna reply if you tweet him something like this crap? Well, so between source code and Ku acknowledging it, this crap is looking more and more real. Is that what that I is? I had no idea. see the rest of it, but I don't have time. Let me look at one more. Beta, Ethan, and Lyra. Honestly, they're kind of the same. At this point, they're just different poses. I'm literally beta Ethan. How you doing, pretzels? Ayo. Yo. Yeah. You're late. Well, I'm a ton. Shoes? How the frick did you notice that? That's like the real one difference, aside from the closer eyes. How closely are you looking to notice that? Okay, I'll look at one more. Beta Pokemon? I have to freaking see beta designs. Bruh. Hunch Crow and. Rotom forms? Ah. Uh, all right. So that that goes a little bit into detail on very specific ones. Back when Orsus came out, IGN said 7.88 out of 10. Too much water. <laughs> oh my god, I love this man. Welcome back, hyenas. Today we're talking about the tremendous amount of Pokemon leaks that have come out after a Game Freak employee evidently was hacked over the course of the last weekend. I'm sure some of you guys are excited to see what's released in this information. Unreleased assets from previous and future Pokemon games, early development stuff, lore, specs about Nintendo's next console. I mean, I guess if you're a nerd, the Thank really you for the, for the lurk. has to do with a bunch of early development lore that's been written about these games. For instance, did you know Mudkip wasn't originally going to be a Gen 3 starter and instead they had this thing? Did you know the character of Skyla, the pilot gym leader from Pokemon Black? Yeah, that looks nothing like Jennifer Lopez, that one. Black is evidently based on Jennifer Lopez. Did you know that Magikarp is evidently a pseudo-legendary in the lore? Not spicy enough for you? How about Typhlosion kidnapping and impregnating a young child? Sumeto, none of this stuff is as interesting as the Vaporeon copy pasta. What if I told you Octillery is actually the most compatible Pokemon for human Pokemon breeding? It's in the lore. Guess they don't call themselves Game Freak for nothing. <laughs> That's a lot of nuts! A couple Love quick things to touch on before we get into the juiciest bits of the leaks. A, yes, I'm sick. That is why I sound like this. You don't need to ask in the comments. B, just because it's unreleased stuff doesn't necessarily mean that it's canon. It's way funnier to think of all of this as real, but the reality is when you're making something as big as an entire world that exists with creatures and dynamics, there's gonna be some shut up, Rag. <laughs> artwork that doesn't make it into the game. Oh, I thought exploring you were gonna say something else. Lore, true. Exploring the true, dynamics true, 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 and relationships true. and politics in this world that you create that only exists. Well, except that one thing. Outlet and an with the with the legendaries. Ideas. More than it is, how are we going <laughs> to Pokemon into our Appreciate you, Ag, for the discretion. And C, something I think we can all agree on. Nintendo is going to dismember this Game Freak employee. His life is in danger. Nintendo has been known for being very litigious. 
very protective of their IPs, most notably shutting down Smash tournaments because they weren't regulated by Nintendo. <laughs> no, Glenno! Finally suing Pal World, the game that was advertised as Pokemon with guns for, you know, being Pokemon with guns. With Nintendo being as anti-consumer as it is when Same. it comes to people making content about theirs, I'm surprised Scott the Waz hasn't been shot in the back of the head. When it comes to one particular employee who leaked all of this information, Nintendo is going to strap him to a rocket That's and fire him into space. <laughs> but hey, what's one dead guy compared to four or five kind of funny memes about Pokemon? I'd make that trade any day. Let's talk first about some of the unreleased Pokemon, because aside from all the crazy stuff, that's probably what would be the most interesting. No, little German boys, don't read the Pokemon, Pokemon lore. Leak. The biggest meme to come out of this is, of course, the scale of, yeah, this looks like a Pokemon, to, oh my god, what sort of eldritch horror did you create, Nintendo? The biggest piece is, of course, this water-based rabbit Pokemon that was supposed to be a Gen 3 starter, which, as you guys know, the Gen 3 starter- He's friends with him, but that's not the guy. Was Mudkip, which means this thing was supposed to replace Mudkip. Yeah. It reminds me a lot of Score Bunny, but I do think that's just because they're both rabbit-based Pokemon. I do think it's a cool design, but the biggest thing to come from this thing being leaked onto the internet is everybody showing that they weren't real Mudkip lovers to begin with. How could you even conceive of replacing Mudkip? He's the best! Right? The super interesting piece of lore seems to be a diagram depicting the absolute origin, the creation of the Pokemon universe. And as such, gives us a hierarchy of what Pokemons are considered gods and legendaries and what came from where. Most of this information I am grabbing from central leaks on Twitter. The actual leak itself is like over a thousand gigs of images and text. Some of which Christ. contain personal information, a huge amount of which is in Japanese. So I'm a little bit at the mercy of other people who have already done the work to research which one of these things. Now this one, this one's interesting. To the top of Twitter. If you consider that bad research on my part, I totally understand, but I'm doing my best here. This Pokemon origin states that there was an empty galaxy and out of nowhere came some sort of egg, which then ended up hatching into the ultimate god, Oss. Oss is evidently Arceus, who was then attacked by fragments of the egg, eventually defeating all of them, and then turning the left half of its body into Dialga, and the right half of its body, light and dark for whatever reason, into Palkia. This diagram shows pretty much everything you could expect out of this. I mean, everything seems to have Bruh. come from Arceus, but then you see the Regis, the uh, legendary birds, the legendary dogs, everything, Mew, Dragonite, everything that you would expect out of the gods of the Pokemon universe. But if you look closely over here to the left, there is a Gyarados right next to Tyranitar and Rayquaza, which seems like a more common Pokemon than should belong on this chart of gods. But despite the fact that everybody's under the impression that Jirachi and Deoxys are legendary Pokemon, most people wouldn't consider Gyarados and by proxy a Magikarp to be one of the Pokemon <laughs> that created the universe in which you play. But hey, I always knew there was something special about Magikarp, even if I always got made fun of for having one. According to Central Leaks, evidently there is no such thing as a pseudo-legendary as far as Pokemon are concerned. You either are a legendary Pokemon or you're just sort of a fan favorite, but you don't have any relation to the Pokemon that end up on the covers of the games and the really tough ones to catch in-game. But now, thanks to this chart, it seems as though there are a few Pokemon, like Gyarados, that are related to legendary Pokemon, despite not being legendary themselves, so the moniker of pseudo-legendary is evidently real. That's like insane nerd shit. Just to be clear, I feel like you'd only really appreciate something like that as like a diehard Pokemon fan, which I like to think I am, but like somebody out there probably is pissing their pants at learning that Gyarados is a pseudo-legendary. Next up are a few yeah. interesting pieces of descriptors for in-game characters that you might not expect Nintendo to go for in a game designed for fourth graders. First up is Cyrus, the leader of Team Galactic, who you might meet in Generation 4 and onwards, is described as a perfectionist, comma, autistic. <laughs> So if you miss that, we officially have an autistic character in Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's Cyrus of all people.
representation that reflects definitely autistic slightly more interesting <laughs> is skyla the gym leader from pokemon black described as a sexy pilot and one of the descriptors has her related to one jennifer lopez finally a representation in a pokemon game that reflects me as a player last but certainly not least we're going to take a look at the lengthy number of stories that have been written discussing the relationship between humans and Pokemon. Most of these are written in a tone alluding to some sort of like folklore or like ancient mythology, old school thinking of how Pokemon and humans. Yay, my very first ever. None of oh, congrats, congrats. In games or canonically were probably created as like a writing exercise for creatives on the team to just put together some sort of information about pokemon and humans that may or may not get used with total i mean of course of course that makes sense kuma freaky in the distant past where the boundary between pokemon and humans was still blurred there was a woman and her companions every day they were bored so they would often catch slack off living in the nearby forest they played cruel games with the captured slack off sometimes Ugh. killing them for fun gouging out their eyes or cutting off their ears what the fuck one day the Bruh. woman was walking alone in the forest and saw a slack off hanging from a tree she climbed the tree to try to catch it but slipped and hurt herself at the moment a vigoroth appeared the vigoroth had a torn ear the woman startled tried to flee but her injured leg hurt too much and she <laughs> couldn't cool. move the vigoroth with the turned ear suddenly attacked her when it saw her the woman lost consciousness she ends up waking up in an unfamiliar place by a lake where she sees a tremendous amount of dead Pokemon and a ton of other injured Pokemon. Charge your phones, people. Realizing that all of these Pokemon were the same Pokemon that her and her companions had killed and or tortured. Upon seeing all of this, she passes Bruh. out again. When the woman regained consciousness, she found herself at the entrance of the forest near her home. Surrounded by her friends, they carried her back to her house. Sometime later, the woman gave birth to a child, but it wasn't a human child. It was a slack off. She intended to abandon it, but couldn't bring herself to do so. She stopped meeting with her friends and decided to raise the slack off. Her friends Bruh. came looking for her after not seeing her for a while and found her child, the slack off. Thinking it was any other slack off, they killed it. The woman then finding the dead body of the slack off, her child, grew dismay, ran into the forest, ended up at the same lake with all the Pokemon she had tortured over the years, holding the body of the dead slack off, and then jumps into the water. Afterwards, the woman's friends began to treat slack off as companions, just as she had her final moments. Woo! This piece is titled Theme Original Sin based on the current Pokemon world and is evidently supposed to be some sort of big drastic thing that happened that led to Pokemon and humans living in peace many thousands of years later. Mm -hmm. But boy, is this a lot for a kid's game. The next story that is literally what I'm thinking the entire time. Theme The Collapse of Culture and Relationships, which outlines some sort of fisherman who meets up with an octillery on the shores of his house and then makes love to it several times before one day, when looking for it, finds a child. The child, seemingly half octopus, half man, but just described as a normal boy, goes oh on to kill a bunch of Ursa rings and then has to beat one to death with his hands for some reason. I don't really understand what the consensus and moral of the story is supposed to be at the end of this one. Bruh. But it's not like it really matters because the only thing that anybody has taken away from this sizable short story is the fact that somebody had sex with an octillery. And last, and Bruh. probably the most memed upon story to come from this collection of behind the scenes early development lore is the story of Typhlosion titled Theme the Relationship Between Humans and Pokemon slash Human Ways of Thinking. In this story, a young girl from a village is going to collect firewood <laughs> and she goes deep into the forest and I discovers didn't do a Typhlosion that speaks to her and basically tells her to come live with him. He feeds her berries, tells her to collect firewood, and upon not listening to his instructions of collecting firewood from the highest branches so that the humans don't find them, he eventually tells her that it seems as though your father has come looking for us. If you don't pick the firewood from the right part of the trees, he will come kill me, and you don't want that because I'm your husband and you're my wife now. The girl what? decides to continue collecting firewood from the lowest parts of the trees. The Typhlosion recognizes this and tells her, your dad is going to be here soon. He's going to kill me, take my eyes, take my heart, take my voice, and burn them in a fire. Her dad shows up, 
He kills the Typhlosion. She says to her dad, that was my husband. I've been living with him this whole time. Please give me his eyes, his heart, and his voice. She burns all of them in a fire and then gives birth to a Typhlosion human hybrid. She is made fun of by others in the village because of this and eventually ends up leaving. And it states at the end of this story that from that point on, everybody Bruh. understood that Typhlosion are part human. Unfortunately, Bruh. the internet has just considered this, that Typhlosion are part P. Diddy and part Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> the names have been wild. How you doing, Multiple Sigma A? Eh? Making parody thumbnails of Typhlosion in Bruh. all the same predicaments that you would see Minecraft YouTubers. People making screenshots oh. of Typhlosion putting out an apology. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a wild week for Pokemon. All of the links are currently actively being translated and searched through. I'm sure there will be more and more funny Bruh, no, not yet. Lore right now, I did my and weekly stuff. and we're and learning about the Pokemon leaks. pieces of information about future Pokemon games oh that might make God. its way into mainstream media, which is all pretty dope. That's everything that I found interesting so far. Bruh. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see me in your inbox more often, remember to hit the subscribe button. A big because I'm lazy. I'm well, not lazy. I just... The only ones who can see this video on my Patreon since I'm here. Nintendo inevitably takes it down. As such, I'm Sumeto Media. I Might as well do it, but tomorrow's video. the video's already over. So yeah. Is Typhlosion a ghost type spirit? Oh god. I'm trying to protect my brain from the Pokemon League stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to protect it, you see. For doing mock later. Oh, there's a quick select? Really? Where? Let me see. Well, let's take a look. She didn't mention the ponytail held at gunpoint. That's so far. There's a lot of stuff that came out from the leaks. A lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, this one. All right. How do I... How do I choose? How? How, how do I... Ah, uh, okay, that's how that works. Bruh. I'm oh, great. Thank you for asking. <gasps> I didn't know that. That's cool. That's cool. Getting rid of all that. Most of that was from the double relics. Most of it. I think. I don't remember. But yeah, that was interesting. God damn. Alright, so now we're gonna do Mach 12. Um when I when I heard about the Pokemon leaks this morning, I was like, oh my god. I gotta share that with stream today. There's no way. There's no way. If I have to know about it, you guys have to know about it. And some of you guys do know about it, but I feel like I am not doing my due my due diligence if I were to witch McCall. Oh, I, I, I like oh my god. I, I I'm I just wonder what the ram I don't think we'll ever know the ramifications of um of what you do I talk about Asmogold? I don't care about Asmogold. I do not- I do not care. Not in the slightest. Um, I heard about it, but... I- I don't- I don't care. Also, I'm gonna go with Firefly first. No, wait, hold on. I meant to go Imbibitor Lune, second team. Firefly first team, because I'll be honest, that first fight is way worse than the second fight. In my opinion, just because it's such a stall. And if Firefly cuts through quickly, hopefully Imbibitor Lune can just coast. Hopefully within a decent turn limit. If not, that's fine. We'll put, we'll put it back to the follow-up people. If I remember how to build this team. There. But yeah, but that shit's wild, then. Of Pokemon and human relations. Same, I wonder where this turns. Yeah. Now that now that makes me wonder, is the Pokemon game gonna be like further delayed now? I'm guessing. 
The legendary tar chart I find the most fascinating. Um, I, I, I did not know that a Pokemon, the Game Freak, like, disregarded pseudo-legendaries. Like, I'll be honest, I genuinely thought that was a thing that Game Freak kind of had and believed them. Hey, she's back to herself. Good. Good. I, 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 am, I am super glad. Because, you know, it, it, I'm always sad when puppies don't get to what you call it. Super Legendary is just a thing. I don't think they care about stats. If anything, they care more for, like, you know... I'm assuming, like, legendary based on the lure. I believe. Grace and elegance. I think that's what they care about more, is the lure. But then again, again, I don't know. How am I supposed to know? Like, literally, my first idea is, I don't know. Was it really? Everything like, on, hand on God? Swept away by the you're gonna, blood. you're gonna, you're gonna float me around there? Alrighty. That's a lot of words. I'm not reading them. Take your positions. I don't know how that got through. I think my, I think, I think my stream labs in turn. I'm not reading all that. I'm gonna be real. I'm not reading any of that. It's too tired. I saw some numbers in there. Ah. Uh, it logs me out. Why does the Streamlabs just stay logged in for life? Why is it always logging me out? There we go. Should be on now. It should be on. I don't know why it says it's off. There. There we go. Nothing to do with popularity or lore. Ah. Well, there we go. In the mood for another beating? <laughs> Slice like my friends. Indulge <laughs> <laughs> yourselves. I guess we'll. Dreams do come true. Oopsie. Basically, Pokemon has high stats and slow leveled up. Still the same as you. Clean up. I see. Step up, let's see ya. Grace and elegance, eternal. Okay. Stay in step. Let's improvise. Initiate cleanup. Detonate. Okay. Heck yeah. Exactly like me. Just like me for real. Hopefully he doesn't die from dots. If he dies from dots, I'm gonna personally feel very cranky. Oh, he died to pipe! Oops. Alright, so I have to pay attention to his skill- of, to, to HP. My bad. My bad. Maybe I should've skipped, uh, the E. Is unity. I'll skip the E for for Ron there. Time to test our rapport. Dream I had to focus, my brain is like at half. Like I'm so Every petal will be swept away by the wind. I'll be swept away by your mama. Set the okay. Yeah. This Great Price, like a good Definitely. A <laughs> o a nice. There's more to life. Okay. Guess I'll keep hitting the Take middle one. Let's improvise. Firefly, take four. Look about even. 
They look about even Stevens to me. Cool, cool, cool. Did the rhythm get messed up? So far, we look Gucci gang. Uh, we're like doing way much better now. Okay. I'm gonna save my skill points. Uh, I'll save my skill points. I'm not so sure you're told that uh someone told you that they were Jesus and they they high-fived him personally back in the biblical times. But you know, who am I to deny someone's reality? <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure I'm totes sure for sure real. They they totally high-fived Jesus back in the biblical times. I believe them. It's fine. I don't mind if, um... If, uh, Harmony Trailblazer is the one that sleeps. What? Oh, it was autoing for some reason. I just told Believe whatever I'm told. What? Uh, I... <laughs> Mm. I don't know why my brain my brain short circuits. Oh, can you reword that? Because it sounded weird. Firefly is only good before of Harmony MC. What is before of? Before of what? Time of Dawn of Man? Dawn of whatever Genshin people were known for being weird and now they're known for being angry? Which I don't get, by the way. Like, why are Genshin people mad all the time? Like, they're just dead ass, just mad. They're never happy with nothing. I really need to get a win DPS at some point. Cause I had a win character and another fire. <gasps> I could Kuduru, maybe? Receive divinity. Firefly is only good because of Harmony MC. You could say that about most break characters. Most characters are good because of supports. Uh oh, I'm I'm trying to make sense of it. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Send a send a DPS by themselves? <laughs> Are you gonna send them in by themselves? Do it. Send in a one DPS. Send a DPS by themselves where it's not simulated universe. Playing. <laughs> like what? <laughs> yeah. So I'm like. What? What? <laughs> all DPSs need supports. How is um? How is what's her face? Or needing Wheelie? Like I don't. Uh, how is that a negative? <laughs> is that like? And yeah, and that's another thing too. He's free. What's the issue? <laughs> <laughs> like unironically, what's the issue? Why are you? Why are more people belly aching about Harmony MC and Firefly needing to be together versus, like, for example, like Ron May, or like pulling on like a Ling Shaw, or like pulling on like some other must-have supports? We were supposed to but not every support needs a DP. True, you can make a whole team of just supports and maybe win. I've seen the memes. I'm privy. Uh, I've seen it. It's pretty cool. I won't lie. The strength. Heaven search. Break. Awaken through the skin. World cleansing dragon. 
That's why I'm like, uh, uh, I'm assuming these are like, I'm assuming these are one site or zero turn cycler people. I'm guessing. Mm. People are like, oh, I have to use a free unit. Meanwhile, look at the premium. Hello, sailor. <laughs> like, bruh. Okay. Like, bruh. bruh. Like, I swear to God, people would rather people. You'll never hear people bitch about using a paid unit, but using a free unit. Ew. Brother, ew! <laughs> like, for real! Brother, ew! Brother, ew! <laughs> I love that meme so much. That that meme lives rent-free more in my mind way more than it should. <laughs> Brother, ew! <laughs> harmony, Harmony MC. Brother, ew! <laughs> Can't. Uh, like, for real, like, people- I don't know why people hate the Harmony MC. I mean, I sorta maybe understand why now, but it made less sense then, people hating on him. It's like, bruh. <laughs> they sound like Genshin people saying that, uh, they're- what you call it -ing? Uh... Boycott! That's the word. It's boycott. Yeah, aren't, isn't Genshin in like its fifth boycott now? Allegedly. Like right now, aren't they like, you know, boycotting it? What's the reason they're boycotting now? I feel like every other week it's a different boycott. Hmm? I don't need to use dot teams? It's not I don't need, it's I don't want to. I, don't, I hate dot. Playing dot is smelly. I don't like the way, I don't like the way it plays. Bro, what? I'm not called out for nothing. I don't like, and also I don't need dot. What I need is win, but I don't gotta win. And Fei Zhao don't do it for me. One of these days, I'll I will get a win DPS I actually like. One of these days. It's not today though. Don't boycott Genshin, just for- I mean, these people who say they're gonna boycott Genshin are still playing it. You mean Sampo? <laughs> you mean Sampo? <laughs> Maybe. 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 Alpha? You sound like an idiot right now! <laughs> yes, I'm gonna, pull, I'm gonna pull Blade right now, watch me do it. Here I go! <laughs> Here I go pulling Blade right now, because I so like him and he's so here. Sound like an idiot right now. Much like Dot players. No! That fight, that second fight wasn't going good anyway. <laughs> Them turn orders was taking a while. I'm gonna go pull for Blade right now this second. Right now. Here I go. Here I go. Step, step, step. Look at me go. I'm gonna go pull Blade right now, because he's so in the... In the whatchamacallit, the standard banner. No, no, I just wanted to try and buy it with Lunai. I'm gonna make Blade appear right from my ass. <laughs> cause he's a, cause you know, you can pull premium, limited premium five stars whenever you want. I'll be honest, though, it's between him and Sila who I think will be the next premiums to go on the standard, though. I don't know why. We haven't seen Blade in such a long time. I think he asked it gonna land in the standard banner. I don't know why. I don't know why. Like, how long has it been since we've seen Blade? Like, for real, like, why- why have we not seen Blade in this long, but we've seen whatchamacallit, like, twice? No, three times. Three times. 
Blade has had a rerun once, I think. Or was it twice? Also, a hey, turtles. Guess who was on time today? A. Hey. Um, I think Blade's gonna land he ass on the standard banner. Last time we saw Blade Obama. Last time we saw Blade Obama was president. Nice. Uh... All right. Eh. Oh, put it this way. Put it this way. This one. There we are. Try that. Nah, I just didn't get a I didn't get a chance to take a nap today. So I'm a little up I'm a little tired. But it's okay. Oops. I'll be taking I thought he had a supportive one. Sound or better yet, hold on. Let me just flip it around. I don't know why I didn't. Literally just flip it around. I don't want imaginary more anyway. Alright. So we'll just focus on the TV people. Like I'm forgetting how to build this team. So focus on the TVs and the people. Are the Krabby Patty meal on DoorDash? That you know the Krabby Patty is meal's ass, right? They literally don't even change the square patty that they usually use for normal Wendy's burgers. Krabby Patty meal's a scam. The only thing, thank you for the hydrate double. The only thing they changed is the frost, the pu the pineapple frosty. Like ah. ah. <laughs> I can never eat Wendy's because it always makes me throw up. I don't know why. It's crazy bad because the person in charge is just as greasy, Mr. Krabs. They don't even. Sh you know. You know. You want to know what I heard? The secret sauce is a Thousand Island dressing. There you go. Now you don't have to wonder about what the crowd. It tastes like a Wendy's burger with a Thousand Island dressing sauce on it. I'm. I'm gonna be honest. I'm kind of annoyed they didn't even bother to change the patty to be round. Because if there's one thing I think of when it comes to fucking um... Uh... Spongebob. God damn it. The follow-up like immediately happened. You bruh. To know yourself before you're feeling lucky. Like bruh, like I didn't expect Numby to like... Go hard in the paint. Our Thousand Island dressing is just our Sriracha Thousand. Without the sriracha sauce at work. Bruh. That's what to say, bruh. I'm just- I'm- I'm- I- I was just hoping the Krabby Patty was- I'm gonna be honest, they should've- They could've chosen anybody else. They could've chosen anybody else. For the stuff. Ah, oh, why did I wait? The only thing that Wendy's knows how to do good is chicken. That's the only thing they know how to do. I'll be honest. Nuggets, eh. Debatable. Super debatable. Hey, chicken nuggets, even Wendy's normal chicken nuggets suck. There's something off about it. Wendy's is just not good. It's just not. Like, Wendy's is ass. Perfect. Like, Wendy's is terrible. Okay. It is. Ah. I'm sort of getting back into Arby's. I was never a huge fan, but they built one near my house, and I'm like, fuck it, why not? I heard their curl- their- what do you call it? What are their fries called? Cut take all our ass except for homemade. The Whopper's good though. I don't know what's up with the Whopper, but the Whopper, the Whopper tastes good. No, but there's like season. Is it? No, there's like a seasoning to them that they add. It's like really baller. 
like they have like a certain like a seize like the seasoning they put on that is actually really good. Let the valuation begin. No, we're not talking about what McDonald's is good at a lot of things. We're trying to figure out what Wendy's is good at. Like, are they good at anything? <laughs> like, we're trying to figure out the mystery of what 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 are Wendy's good at? How are you still alive? Heck, genuinely, how are you still alive? <laughs> This one. Uh, they they do they do do frosties. They know how to do frosties. I'll give you that. Do they have baked potatoes? Hmm. That's a valid question. I don't know. They can't do Krabby Patties? No, they cannot. No, they cannot. Ah, oh, frick. Let the valuation begin. The market is on fire. Hey, how's it going, ducks? My mom used to love their chili. Oh, yeah! Now, there's something people actually like Wendy's for their chili. Right! Beat the mation information out of her, like, IDs. <laughs> sure, I'll play along. But no, de no, I'm like dead ass serious. Like, I, people do love their chili. For one reason or another. I don't know why they like the chili. But they do like the chili. And I don't know why. Okay, fine. So Wendy's is good at one thing. We found it. We got him. We finally got him. Chili and cheese? Do they put cheese in the chili? It's like a genuine question. Do they actually? I think my mom liked it because it was flavorful and low in calories. Hmm. Maybe. They have good desserts. All they're good at is the frosty. No. The frosty and the chili. We found their two things. We did it. We finally got them. We got them. Cause I do, I do like their frosties. I won't lie. But only- I don't- I don't like the junior ones. I feel like any bigger than the junior one, and I feel like that's too much. I don't know why. Oh yeah, no, Burger King definitely has the best ones. I tried the Big Mac the other day. I don't vibe. I don't know why I don't vibe. I just don't. Burger Way Shake Shack? I don't know what a Shake Shack is. What's a Shake Shack? Never heard of that before. Might be a might be a regional thing. Ah, what's his face got slept? Of course, what's his face got slept. That is that's what happened last time. How did he even get affected? He should have res, bruh. You should have had effect res on that. McDonald's burgers are oddly sweet. It's honestly disgusting. There's something off about their burgers. I can't tell you what it is. But there's something off about their burgers. I just don't. And I know that's what they used to be known for. Sort of. Why is most of my team asleep? Uh, Zaxby's? I think Zaxby's is mostly a regional thing. Poppy's is national. Um, I tried it one time and it had really good chicken. Wendy's chicken is okay, but I, if I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm only getting Wendy's chicken if I'm forced to go to Wendy's. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna go there willingly by choice. My burger tier list? 
Oh, easy. Um, Whopper, five guys, and then everybody else. There you go. There's my tier list for you. Is it teary and listy enough for you? Because <laughs> I, I don't know. There's something about the taste of a Whopper that's really good. I can't describe to you why. I'm assuming magic. And five guys, drugs. More than likely, it's drugs. But yeah, five guys, five guys. Why is what's her face CC? What? She got hardcore targeted. All right, so she probably focus on the monkey. I don't know why she got hardcore targeted by the lady and the monkey. Well, I know the monkey, but the lady. F off. My mom, she won't buy me the Overwatch Battle Pass. Why are you playing Overwatch? Frick. Okay. Oh, the Cajun fries are so good. Like, bro, they're really good. Like, bro. I guess I'll just focus on one guy over and over and over. She did. I don't know why she also had to go after my, my girl. It's whatever. Church's chicken? I never- I didn't even know church, church, church's chicken was a thing. That is something that I'm assuming is also regional. I don't have one. If I have one... Do I have one? Hmm, no, I don't think it's regional. I think that's national. I just never been to one. Because I think I've seen one, or maybe their logos look similar. Because I remember I had to look it up for Yiki one time, and I forget... Oh my god. I forgot why and how I was looking it up. I honestly for I foregore. Hold on. I actually want to look at that up. Is Church's Chicken National? Waiting means change. Uh It's national. Yeah, it's national. They also have them in other countries too, so they're global. They're global and national. Oh, ah, interesting that. Man. Interesting. This is the <laughs> yeah, there's some in Mexico. Ayo, hey, there you go. There you go. In the mood for another beating? Time to mix things up. Great teamwork. There's more to life. <laughs> Why is he getting like hardcore targeted? The Harmony MC's eating it. What the frick? Harmony MC. If I didn't heal him, he would have died. How many times did he get like targeted? Like, bruh, f off. <laughs> Literally eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit, guy, why are you why are you focusing on the boyfriend? What the heck? I don't I don't know. He got the Tingyun gene. I suppose. Gotta save my skill points. I don't know what happened, but something happened. In the mood for another Take your position. Like, bruh. The only thing I can relate to them is that stupid trap music song. Uh... Did Harm Harmony MC say something about Typhlosion? <laughs> oh god, those Pokemon links, bruh. Oops. Oh, maybe I was supposed to do that, I don't know. I'm so annoyed that freaking uh, Watch His Face got, um... Got slept. That would have saved us a whole last turn. But nah. He had to be slept. Nah. Okay. 
mood is set. Let the show begin. Bruh. Let's improvise. Real talk, Hulay annoys the shit out of me. I mean, Hulay's not that bad. It's just. I'll be honest, the people bef the puppets annoy me annoy me way more. Mostly because they're with the TV enemies, and that is just that just kills you as far as the momentum is concerned. It's very annoying. It's like very annoying. Like the TV enemies, like literally like the TV enemies and for some reason them being able to sleep my my ratio even though we have like shields up the waz but now nah, let's just penetrate that let's just let's just pen that and eat shit also doesn't help that uh i don't barely have any of the weaknesses <laughs> that's fine um i'm gonna put firefly first and we're gonna try clara the problem is the first part of the fight that's my only concern but we'll see I just really wish I got more, like, a wind if I- Like, honestly, I've seen people AFK the first fight. Uh... It's either- it's either Firefly or Fei Zhao. I have Firefly, but she can't do two of the fights, even though as much as I love her to know. Alright, so it's not- Alright, let's see what we can do. Like, that first fight really annoys me. But the second fight... I guess we can try... Firefly first fight. This fight... I'm wondering... Probably we're gonna switch out Clara. And hopefully that goes better. We have we have Topaz, but... I'm just curious how that'll go. I just- I don't like the puppets just because they stall. They stall and they stall super hard. I mean, I would love to use my Imbiber Lune team on them, but... It, it, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go according to their break mechanic, or it's gonna take even longer. Uh, what? How about switching out a second hyper carry into fire? A second hyper carry? Uh, there won't be enough. Um, there won't be enough. Um, skill points. This is what I want to do. That's why you don't do- don't, that's why you generally don't do two hyper carries on a team, because there's not gonna be enough skill points to do anything. But it's okay, I got an I, I got a couple ideas of what to do. We need the only point. problem is, my Imbiber- if they- if all of them had imaginary weakness, I would be fine. But the problem is, only two of them do. But all of them have fire. Please which is great, you. but... There can only be so much Firefly to go around. Oh, it's just annoying. If they were all weak to imaginary, then we, we'd be fine, but... Alas, no. Because the problem is, if if I by the time I break with Imbiber Lune, one of them's already regained their bars, and it's like, oh. Well, shit. <laughs> That's what it feels like. But I'm kind of annoyed that one of them isn't weak to imaginary, but the two other ones are. It's like, okay. Thanks. I had to make sure to hit them in such a way where they don't ruin my my energy. Still the same one. Yeah. Grace and elegance. I broke them, but I guess not. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. With this one, maybe. No, you can't. They don't. They don't really. Let's improvise. I will claim victory for myself. He's so low. <laughs> He's double digits right now. <laughs> In the mood for another beating. <laughs> He's so low. <laughs> Indulge yourself. Why is he so low? What the- Oh, Dot. That's right. Yeah. Firefly, take four. 
If they were all weak to imaginary again, that would be awesome. But they're not. Did the so it's whatevs. Dreams do come true. In the mood for another beating? Because before when I was using Imbibitor Lune, the problem is I had to balance between um value, I suppose. Between, you know, who's gonna get who where Imbiber Lune's attack was gonna go. And meanwhile on that team I had no one with fire. The mood is set. That's whatever. It's fine. Okay. Oh, I hope he's not too low. Did I fuck up? Nah, he's fine. Bruh. See, like, that is just the most unlucky. It could have gone to these two. But nah, Firefly gets slept. Bowl. Ultimate bowl. Ultimate bowl. Ultimate bull. Like, I'm so mad that Firefly, that costed us, like, really bad. The fact that Firefly managed to somehow miraculously get CC'd out of everybody! Out of all the choices! Out of all the choices! Nah, Firefly. Firefly. She's the one that gets CC'd. Sure. Alright. Would've gotten that away earlier, Firefly didn't get CC'd! Like, could've been Ron May. Oh, whoops, was none of them weak to- Oh, the first ones aren't weak to physical. Right. Alright, so let's see. So, we need to start. Alright, gotta hit him with the weakness. Alright. Alright. Let the valuation begin. Okay. Uh -huh. Fuck! Was Clara not the last one? Uh. I'm trying to make Clara be the one. I'm trying to make Clara be the one to get it and. Whatever, it's fine. The dice have been cast. Probably should attack this one. Or maybe I'll take it off. Okay. I want to protect everyone too. Alright. Watch your head. She hit everybody but Clara. Sure, I'll play along. Uh. Bruh. This lady. Mock has become officially sentient. She's like, hey, let's avoid that one guy right there. You see that one guy right there? Nah. Bruh, we're gonna ignore that one guy. Too much? Hashtag too much for my- really? Okay. Grin. Maka's become sentient. Officially. How is she not dead? Can you like, cease to be now? Like, bruh, cease to be! I don't know why the, the dot isn't on here. Hedge your bets. Uh -huh. I need to be brave. Hide. 
Perfect. Perfect. See, Hule's playing along. Hule's playing along. Why can't you, other people in the front? Or maybe I'll take it off. I want to protect like, bruh. I said, God, trolling. Let the valuation begin. And on this, the day of my daughter's wedding. Hulay knows what's up. And he friend. And he friend. Wowie, wowie, zowie. I notice how you're avoiding avoiding Clara again. Oh, maybe I should have put Clara next to the. Ooh, I think I fucked up my placement. Uh. Hopefully, it doesn't cost me too much. I noticed I put. I should have put Clara next to Adventurine. It's not mock ruining my day. It's myself ruining my own day. Oh, sorry, you're doing flam. Aww, Robin. It's okay, it's okay. Aww. Aww. I don't know why. I found that really sweet. I found that so precious. Ulaze! Ulaze! I still love that. I, I still find amusement in that. You think the amusement has stopped? Hello. No, it has not. No, it has not. I really messed up my placement. I won't lie. I don't know why I didn't put Clara and Adventuring next to each other. I'm really, I'm really memeing on myself. Oh, hey! Did I do it? Hey, Nice. Clara going in for the win. Hell yeah! Hey, Clara! Bruh. Bruh. Shouts out to Clara and Spara. Goddamn. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. I'll be honest, that first fight is way worse than the Hulei fight. I, that first fight is just meant to infuriate you. And then any any little bits you have left after the puppets waste it, who like just comes up and sweeps. Bro, hey, shout out to my girl Clara and and Numbi. Holy crap, Numbi was popping off. All of them, all of them. Robin for doing her whole turn stuff. Clara, all of them, all of them played their part, especially venturing. Robin, see, it was all okay, right? But I'll be honest though, I I'd rather have Clara for the first fight. This this fight can suck balls, bro. Like the, the like and and worst of all, you know who's way worse than the puppets? This. This right here. This this is a problem. This if you don't if when you're trying to break these, these guys on the side will be like, "Hey, remember me?" Well, you don't remember your energy anymore. There goes your ult. <laughs> I do blame television. I do. I do. So, a hey, Clara for the win. All right, so there we go. That's awesome. Like, honestly, shout out to Robin and Clara and all of them. Goddamn. Um, so I'm good with that. But like, ugh, where are Clara's stats anyway? Oh yeah, I'm giving her a double HP, double this one set. <coughs> right. I'm. I gotta work. I, well, I mean, she has decent enough stats. I mean, all she's do is live to get hit, really. 
but there you go. Hell yeah. I swear to god, I'm so mad it took me almost a year. Which, by the way, if you don't have Clara yet, remember, it took me almost a year to get her. So, there you go. And I played from day one. So, take that for what you will. So, did we get all of our stuff done? Let's see, did we get all our dailies done? Yes, we got our weekly already good. We now got mock done. I was, but to be fair, she came at a 50-50 loss. To be fair, that anger was initially justified. Initially. <laughs> to be fair. Alright, so. Uh, looks like I got everything else done. Alright. So now we're going to switch to God of War. We're going to go back to being very cute girly girls. Was it for Sparkle? I, I don't remember which one it was. All I remember is that I was angry. That's all I remember. Your, your mock is still at 34, 36. I believe in you. I need my Himiko farmed up first. Take your time. I mean, you got like, how long? You got literally 40 days, so th there's no rush. There's definitely no rush. But I believe in you. You'll get there in time. And even then, who cares? If you can't get it this one, you'll get it next time. Because I remember when the first mocks came out, I just went as far as I could and called it a day. Alright, so. Let's see. Let's see. Being a silly girl on God of War. The ultimate girly girl as Kratos. Okay, and right now I'm just doing the the shift. She'll be fully farmed out in about five days. Need to get her skills up. I'll trust, I believe in you. I was there at one point. I remember. I remember most of my time was spent farming traces. Oh god. It was, it was interesting. Now, I'm gonna BRB, play some ads, turn off pre-rolls. So, um, go get a snack, get a drink, whatever you need. And don't go nowhere, okay? Okay, I forgot 
ignore that. I forgot to hit the commercial button. Okay, it happens. I just really had to go to the bathroom. Like, so what? So what? Anyway, yeah, I am back. Now we're going to go straight into it. All right, where is it? Okay. Good show in. There it is. Hey. All right, back to being a girly girl. I skip ahead of this. Now, I was thinking of actually doing the side quest. Oh, wait, am I lagging? No. Oh, I'm not. Alright. But anyway, I was thinking of doing the side quest. Um, the whatchamacallit. I forgot to turn on the freaking avatars. Whoops. There was so much I forgot to do today. Whoops. That's what we call a my bad. Let me... Eh, nah, too late now. Alright. Even you're smart, you'll find him. Alright. So I'm actually wanting to go to uh this place. No, go away streaming avatars. You had your chance. Alright. Alright, so I actually want to go to the place where that one dwarf wants us to get like stuff from, and we're gonna do it. Oh yeah, we have the head that we Boy, need to resurrect. Back to the witch. First we need to find a boat. Okay. So we gotta go this way. Oh, guess we're not going back to the witch just yet. No, we are not. Yeah. You definitely want head. Head can wait! The head can definitely wait. I got more important things than head. Right, let me. Eh. Head can never wait. Well, it can from me. Look here, another. Look, it's the world serpent. He's so much oh. bigger than I imagined. Oh, look, he bit Thor. Or will bite him. Looks like. Hmm. Cool. Work on your priorities? What do you mean? My priorities are exactly where they're supposed to be. I think I might need to move the bridge. Huh? Oh. What's this? Ah, I hope it's not one of these. Oh, I, I, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to do these battle ones. I just, I just want to do the story. God dang it! All right, I thought that was gonna give me like a like a surprise. Well, it did give me a surprise. So we gotta move the whole thing because I want to go to the alchemist place, or maybe I go down here. Oh, we take the boat, perhaps. Almost. If we could just find the other pieces of the language there. All right. We could take boat there. I don't know why I thought I had to go that way. Oh yeah, there's the world serpent. Hello. Alright, because I wanna I wanna do that one side quest. Get the head, it'll entertain. Out there? Oh it will? I see no time. Okay. Alright, if the head will be entertaining. Then I will- we will definitely go to Witch first. We'll go to Witch first. Alright, you convinced me. Alright, to the Witch then! Cause I want the head to talk to me and tell me knock knock jokes. That's a how's it going, Kiki, Do you remember the way back to the Witch from here? 
That way. Behind the big statue of Thor. Uh, where? Oh. Okay. All right, let's get him first, since he'll tell me knock-knock jokes. Like she could fight, didn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. Oh, I have to go here. Where do I go from here? I know the compass shows me where to go. Am I, can I disembark here? No. Maybe the other way around? So, know any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? Ooh. There was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory. And foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Okay. This way. You want to dock here? I'm a little curious, now that we have the arrow to proceed here. Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. <laughs> it's been two weeks since I last had to do it, Magli. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I don't know where the boy's going, but all right. Bye-bye, boy! I know she's really oh. powerful. God damn it. Do you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She I don't like to use a dishwasher. Craft, and we have nothing Tell to me lose. more about the torches, George. I mean, Kratos. No. But you may feed it to the fish. Okay. Nah. Why? I, I don't know why the game. I don't know why the frames are dropping. Let me restart it, because I don't know why it does that. You're not wrong. I don't know why it'll random it'll randomly do that and it's very annoying for me. Let me, let me double check here. Yeah, it will randomly do that and I don't know why. This turtle must be standing up. Uh, How do we get back up there? Let me make sure I have everything else closed. Oh, I gotta close that. Close that. I have a question. Does anyone use Skype these days? I don't know how to uninstall it from my computer. I have to like do some Someone magic. back to the surface when the turtle's standing. Keep looking. Huh? Yeah, the answer is I don't know. I don't know how to answer the question.
Oh, where'd she go? Where'd she go? What? I... Lady? Is there more? I get better reactive timing than that. So I'm assuming that's related to the chest down up. there. Contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire room? Oh, alright. Alright, so I know there is a chest down here. Somewhere? I don't know what that is. Okay. Atreus, to me! I'm coming, I'm coming! Hmm. I saw there was a way to climb, but... Now that we have more available to us here... I do want to look around. Can I jump down? No? Lame. That's fine. I just wanted to know. Alright. There's like stuff. Ah. That's how we're gonna do that. Okay. Can we go down this way? We can. Oh. Oh, I guess this one's mine. To find one of those explodey ones, huh? Girls just want to have fun! Exactly! What's the sad news? This next one. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's sad. Hopefully, your pup's in a better place now. That sucks. Oh, uh, now where's the other seal? Yeah, that's always sad. At least your puppy is okay now. I'm feeling better. Oh, no, no. Oh, in his sleep? At least he went peace? She or he, I forget which one it is, but at least they went peacefully. Aww. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that. His name is Max. Aww. Puppy dog. Look here. It's some kind of drawing. Maybe a map? <laughs> oh, it's a treasure map. No, no, I understand. 
I lost mine earlier this year, so for me, I'm... It, uh, it's not, it's not fun. Ah, oh, there it is. Let's get the treasure chest here. You just have to, you know, keep going forward. Yeah, this year. Earlier this year. Hey, I increased my maximum rage. Cool, 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 cool. So yeah, I get it. Yeah. Forgive me. A little tired. We'll need something to get through this one. Oh, I thought I had it. Another one? I know, right? They're so sweet. Huh. Alright, let's meet the boy up there. Okay, well, that's way too far to jump. Oh. Ah. This will be fun. Almost there. I can't jump over with those wooden boards in the way. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> There are different rooms written along the side of this one. What does it say? Another riddle. Feed me not, we both are doomed. Overfeed me, all consumed. Hmm. The answer might be near, like the other. Uh. What's that the one? There's gotta be written around here somewhere, right? Written. Right, crypto. Wow. Oh. Now what? I like Swarm. I like Swarm a lot. <laughs> Starcraft coming out? Oh, get back. 
<gasps> oh god. This game's old. Oh, I thought I could climb those. Whoops. Thank you. Boy, are you like aiming? Or... I don't think we have what we need to deal with that. Yeah. You might be right, boy. I know, right? Interesting. I'm gonna be honest, um, StarCraft is one of those games where I think I can play it, and then when I do, it's like, wow, I realize why I don't play it. <laughs> it's not that the game's bad, it's just I'm bad. <laughs> Which RTS is, to me, it's a lot. Um, it's- RTSs are very, like, emotional overload. No, 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 no. Not emotional. They're like mental overload for me. I think it's funny. By the way, the game I was playing tonight was made by old Riot devs. Mm. Warcraft 3? No. Well, I. Okay, so, funny story about that. We'll have to see. Um, we'll have to see. League and Apex. I think I've seen that before. I don't think so. I think we've seen videos of that that game you're talking about. No. Um, any anything involving a game shop, especially in an Overwatch setting, will not go very well. Especially not for an easygoing audience. I could be wrong, but I I don't think it's going to go as well. Because people don't like the idea of shops and games. Ooh, do I have? To oh, just. Pop up this way. At least in my my opinion. Ooh. Turn back, AC. Guess the guys aren't welcome here. You know, I heard that Concord might be coming back. <gasps> there he is. I hope he remembers us. I wonder if there's a crystal. Uh, there it is. I haven't seen IGN people play, but to be fair, the guy that played it for my IGN sucked. Why are they gonna bring it back? I thought they already spent the money, like, lambasting it. They really don't want to let something die Boy. a noble death. Ah, I was wondering about this. Like, bruh. Might as well get something from it. Instead of just letting it die. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. That's what it sounded like in my head, anyway. I can see why they want to make some sort of investment return. Yeah, Concord's coming back. I know, it's so weird. It's getting Ready updates yourself. and stuff. Oh, I didn't mean that. I thought I could turn around in time, but I guess I couldn't. Oh, I, 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 I all of a sudden forgot how to... How do I throw this? I had to hold RS, I forgot. Is it okay? Yeah? Your skill continues to grow. Banana clicker. 
That sounds bot. Father, she is here. It's so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Aww. Hello. Oh, can you He's bring so the head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. Why is she being extra? It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now. God, Jesus. What's this about a head? Really? Nice. I love the Concord and it reminds me of Do the you have any Christmas idea who this is? Charlie Brown. Did you he kill him? Needs some love to be At his request, <laughs> he claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. <sighs> nice clean cut. Bruh. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. <laughs> it works. Let Look me at him. Mamir, you there? Yes. Good. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. Jesus. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. <laughs> the witch in the woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either? Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? Ooh. We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. <laughs> Even Kratos will remember this. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, head, I will ask. <laughs> this Fair game enough. got instantly better. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's this that? game instantly got better. Giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The world serpent. Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient Bruh. even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. Who do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. Amir is incredible. He's the best sense of humor. Bruh. I like Mim Bruh. I'm excited. Alright. Now I want to go here. So. So. 
novel location of the game is narrated by Nice! That's sick. So Mamir. Why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Baldur is blessed with invulnerability. True, to all Rag. Things, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Am I supposed to jump well, off as again? I recall, it involved uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Yeah, I might need to jump off Maybe again. Broken. Oh. Just shows up randomly whenever. Alright. How do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? I'm working on it! Speak to Snick first? Alright. I'll speak to Snick. Then we go to the alchemist place. I put my lips to the horn. No, I love Snick. Well, giant Snick, not not. Jesus, thing's big. IRL Snick Nug in game Snake is fine. Odin had that statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors that fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. Ah, <laughs> based. Doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. Well, I would freak out. I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone. Before the Twin Towers fell, I was scared dark. looking at them because they were so big. No. Our only concern is your knife. All right, wish me luck. Oh, He remembers me. Why are you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno Huntunkun. Ahoe. Echo no Tunno Funora. Terrifying. He knows the pain of your loss. He will help you. His breath probably smells like shit. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. You looked kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me, I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. <laughs> no. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. 
feel like you can only speak that drunk, like, wail. Alright. Eh. Good way. Why does he, like, not want... There we go. Gotta hit the elevator back down. Right. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Now, oh, where's that? Alright, so let's see if we can go to that alchemy place now. Let's see. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Hmm. Or maybe... Oh, further down. Is this the right way? Oh, I am complete wrong way, but it's whatever. We're already here. Which way to oh, thank you! That's smart, I should do that. Let me mark it. This one. Boat under the bridge, keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Can I cut through this way? Alright. We could do that. But where was it? Hey, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances. And not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won. But the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy. A certain Vanir goddess. Legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? Whoa! It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. She married Odin, huh? Well, what's that? Oh, I saw something. So Freya married Odin? Oh. Oh. That was... Okay. I thought that was something. That was not something. God damn. Alright. The head it is! You're right! God damn! I'm glad I got to see the head first. I love him. He's my favorite. How'd I... I'm doing this for the dwarves. If I didn't like them so much, I wouldn't be doing this for the record. Oh, I, for I have yet to... I love his stories. The world building, especially through his... eye, is amazing. I love it. True. As much as I like Christopher Judd, I don't want to only hear him grunt. And groan and hear the good kid go, Ooh, what's that? Alright, so there's our one way ticket back. Let's just make sure before we use that, we've thoroughly explored the area. Alright. What's this? I love the side characters in this game. They're so good. You know you got a winner when the side characters uh, are interesting. Come boy. 
Hell yeah. Oh my god, why does it randomly do that? What the heck? Like, there'll be times it randomly does that, and then there'll be times where it's like... Hold on, let me just restart the capture. Let me... Because there's times where, like, it's good, and then all of a sudden it'll, like, mess up for no reason. Let me just fix that. Let's see, let me put to God of War. Let's see. Kratos is just like you, doesn't like to read for real. What's this? Alright, what's this? Let me see. I don't know what a hook rate is. So I'm assuming faster is better. I'm guessing. Alright. Oh, it's covering me. Oops. Probably. Let me put it at the bottom. Oopsie poopsie. <laughs> My bad. Alright. Hopefully it should be better. It's hard to tell if I fixed it or not. It like it randomly does that. Don't know why. I should probably look that up at some point. Alright. Wonder who wrote this. Okay. I do wonder about oh. I do wonder about those arrows, though, and why she didn't like them so much. Alrighty. I've gotten so much stuff, I should be able to upgrade some things, no? Where's my light? I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts you'll find him. Can you read it? Yes, sir. Uh these runes read death inside. Lovely. Now Let's see if I can talking. upgrade any of my stuff right now. Junior? Uh. Oh, we can make big boy armor now? Oh, gosh. I gotta get this thing called Smoldering Ember. Ooh. Time for another break, anyways. Uh uh. So let's go. So Brock said his friend was dwarven like him. Wearing a green ring. Look if you wish. We'll be gathering resources for our journey. You don't want to help him? No. Why not? Because I Dwarven. But no ring. One of his crew? Scorch marks. There, along the floor and wall. Weird. I guess we keep looking. Weird. I mean, I'll keep looking. Okay. Ah, oh well. Hmm. Sad face. I don't want to do the optim op optional challenges. I want to enjoy the story. I was like, Kiki, how far am I am in the story so far? My quarter ways? If that kills us, that's it. No Valhalla, no hell, no after ever. It does not attack. Ah, oh. mom made them so much than that. 
then do not drop your guard. Come. Here's one. Attack those things, because I could. Right. And this stuff. in this place. Enemies down. Okay. Guess we'll continue here. Follow me, Atreus. shield out in time. Oh, I didn't mean that. Give me. I was like, hey, 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 how's it going, pretzels? Bro, how much longer before this whole only no headphones thing be? No <clears throat> thing. We're not gonna find Brock's friend alive, are we? Alive? No. Oh god, damn it! They go so fast. I want to do the the multi hit thing, but I can't. I have to be fast. I'm trying to do the multi-hit, but it takes so long to charge up. Look here. Yes, sir. Hey, it's another treasure map. Hey. Forever? What do you mean forever? Is it really? That sucks! Oh. Oh, it's one of these. Alright. Alright, so these are already kicked down. At least I can, uh... King aim over here. Oh, there's the thing over there. That's unfortunate, pretzels. I swear to god that thing went through. Bruh. Well, at least I got to know you during the, the headphone era. Right. 
Hmm. Oh! I see one right there. Alrighty, so they should be... Oh. Around here in this general area. I can drop here. True. Tr very true. Let's see, so I was just here. Alright. And only got one seal. So I'll have to be mindful of the other seals. Bro, you're gonna get it, like, literally in no time. Which, that's actually crazy. And I appreciate it, by the way. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, see it. Alright, we got one more. Welcome back, Charles! We ended up full clearing it. And this is where I just came from. Yes, we ended up going Firefly first fight, Clara and Topaz for second fight. Very demure, very mindful. Heck yeah! I kind of messed up with my placement. I don't know why I didn't put Clara next to Adventurine. Because they were like dead ass times where the aggro was like, yeah, we're just going to avoid Clara on the opposite side. Meanwhile, Adventuring's on the full ass other side. Perhaps maybe even Chi Chi, not Cho Cho? Whoa. Very Chi Chi, no Cho Cho. Not, none in sight. Oh, there's the last rune. It's the ring. On that severed oh, end. what'd it say? Huh? Attached to the Soul Eater. Well, uh, you know what I've been doing, Vari. Now we can just go tell Brock. I don't need to fight it, right? No, we will fight it. No, <laughs> because you are frightened of it. Parasocial. I was trying to... Trying to... Oh, I should probably save that. Oh! 
Oh, there's more? Is he healing? You go away. That's showing them. True. I like to think my stuff isn't really parasocial. I mean, I like to think it's pretty even, Stevens. Let me see, was there ever one I was ever one sided with? Oh, I did not notice that. That's annoying. I'll have to keep that in mind. Be strong, Atreus. Stay focused and look for a weak point. Yes, sir. Oh, this is the way forward. Oh, God. Let me save here. All right. Hello. Stay quiet. Make no sudden movement. Shit again. Right. Some hell. I completely forgot about the chunks. And now I'm too low. Wait till its mouth's open, right? No! Ah, oh, shit! Realize, I'll be honest. I was scared. I was scared. I was scared. I was so scared. I guess we should bring this back to Brock. Also, this is my second time fighting an enemy. I should have known better. They really like to reuse enemies here, don't they? Which one's this one? Hell yeah, hearts all around. Uh... 
Hmm. I like the shield slam more. Yeah. I mean, this is like a random side quest, so I guess I kind of understand, but... I, I don't know. Read it. Sir. These runes were written fast. It spells out Ejim Staney. Hmm. I don't know that one. We will ask the blue one. So now you're interested? <laughs> we found his alchemist. A reward nah. was promised. How do I well, what do I do? Do I just take my act? Oh. I do! <laughs> Actually! <laughs> I'm trying. I did okay. Yeah? I see improvement. Yay. I try I used to make friends way too quickly. Like I I like I very much used to. Hell, some say I do now still, but it wasn't as bad as how I used to be. As long as you don't make yourself act and look like a fool. And, you know, make sure to protect yourself properly, you'll be fine. I like to say we're all generally cool here. Eh, <laughs> so many points. <laughs> oh, lord. Ragnarok improved a lot in terms of reusing bosses and specific build creation. That's good, that's good. I'm assuming this is the way- Oh, wait! Give me. Alright. Uh, is this the way out? Uh, uh, I'm assuming up is out. This is in. So this way out. Yeah, this way out. Yeah, I remember. Sure. What you find? Wrong button. Oh, alchemist. I'm oh, sorry, Brock. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul leader inside, and well, it must have burned away the rest of him. Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? Naturally. Naturally, he says. Miani for Uxi. I'll take Ooh. a closer look at this here rain. Maybe Anvari left a bit of magic inside for he groped. Dwarves can Ooh. A barrier and more strength? This one gives slightly more strength, but. 
Oh, very low. Still like it. Can do that? Sure, dwarves and magic jewels is like flies and pig lips. Supple. Ugh. I'm not as interested as I thought. All right. Ooh, this is nothing but ooh, a new bra. New bra. Armor enough, but why take chances? New bra. Witness me and my bra, mighty. It sensuates my nipple very. Well, it half name? covers my nipple. I'm not happy about this. I am suddenly deeply saddened and upset. And I upgraded my bro my <laughs> man's ear. Thank you. Okay, sorry. I upgraded my man's ear. <laughs> Whoops. Ooh, it's actually close to upgrading. Hey, oh, both of these. God of seduction. Hell yeah. God of sexfully dressing up good. Wait, I should probably check if the boy can get some there? some upgrades. Say the word, kid. Nope. nope. I gotta upgrade his cleaver. Alright. Uh oh there. Got another favor to ask you to. What do you want? What do you want, dwarf? I got another lead on my old pal on Bari. Meet me at the Lawn Soother Mines. There's some fancy dancy loot in it for you. Mm -hmm. Another leaf? But we already found it. Well, found his hand anyways. I'll explain at the mines. These ones is just south of the river pass. Now you two want something, or you just gonna stand there all gag scrapped and slack jawed? Hmm. After some main story. Pull the ring off on Vari's hand at the Vellander mines. Feller was always tampering with now, souls I... and dark rituals and matters of the night, see? This way. Aw, okay, the pretzels. Flattening metal were enough to stoke my fires all blissful. Shit, you better clear out before I get all frisky. <laughs> Have I level? Oh, I should probably do that. Yet. Oh, oh! I can add so many sockets. So much room for activities. No, give myself more defense. Ooh, so much room for activities! Alright. Oh yeah, skills, right. Okay. Hmm. Level up the boys. Oh uh, yeah. Upgrade his stuff. Oh, I can? Oh, I'll look into that. Here, all this upgraded. Sheesh, I feel like an idiot for not leveling these up. Right. Alright. LB and- oh. I should probably, like, learn this. Oops. I think I'm winning. That one. This one. Okay. LB and RT. Okay. Hell yeah. Hmm. 
What is it bothering me for? Okay. All right, we're looking Gucci. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Boy. Let's go. Let's take the door back. Continue story. I wanna do story, side quest, story, side quest. You know, depending if I have enough interest. Over there. What's this? Eh. Uh. Nah. Heck yeah. Well, you gentlemen certainly know how to get around. So I just keep Why walking until a door happens. Began with Boulder. He just knocked on our door. Boulder of Asgard just knocked on your door. Yeah, he just showed up and started the fight. He said he wanted to know something. He said, "I know what you are." <sighs> oh, well, we'll circle back to that later. What exactly did he want to know? I was on it before, by the way. He said I already knew what he wanted. Perhaps he mistook me for another. Oh, I can. Yeah. Oh, I thought I'd keep walking. Oh, I lag. I'm lagging out bad, bad. God oh, damn. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. I'd keep. I thought it was like Stardew Valley. Or it was like a set. Hmm. What's got you all bum fuzzled over there? Get going. Okay. Alright. Well, I'd rather me be slow than the game, honestly. And hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother is the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Where? Once Fjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted beneath his blood. Taken from Enough. Him. No stories. Not while well on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. You who walks among the living. My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace. Yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sather magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, okay. her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. Thank you for the biddy. They've taken three of sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Oh, Lord. Not these fuckers. Oh, 
Wrong, wrong fucking camera. Remember. Oh my god. I'm trying to like. Hit the boy again. I forget which button is it. What button is it? I honestly don't remember. Uh, which button is it? A lot of buttons to remember. Oh, it's a hold. Ah. Hold, right. Oh, I thought we were past this. Oh. My fair Gulvik. This realm suffers without her spirit. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to mom again. If we keep an eye out while we- you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. Okay. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> There was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Bamur chased after his son. But in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering mid oh, and run into lost this. and alone. Got it. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. I have to hold LB, so I have to hold shield and R for them for that to work. Oh no. You fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Yorg. Thor always took credit for planning that one. But truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. A wolver. A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. What the heck? 
I hit it, but I guess I... I guess I killed the other one. Seek a chisel. The tip of one, yes. Yeah. Very, very giant chisel. Hmm. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Is this a giant? That looks like a finger. Oh god, I think this is all of it. That looks like a nail. I know that, but goddamn. I love the way they handle size in this game. Damur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. I love how they handle, like, the, the weight and scale of everything. I feel it. I feel like genuinely everything is this gigantic. I love it. Betrayers, here! Yes, father! Hmm. Oh, these are her. Hmm. Just curious. Ah, oh, Jesus, I love this. Nope, I don't want defense. I want strength. Anything less than strength? No, ma'am. There he is. Find Whoa. the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Whoa. Greek Saga games did a better job showing giant things. Camera was moving away to show you the scale till do? Kratos became little pixel on screen. <laughs> ah. An all fine light crystal. Wonder what it's for. Oh, God damn Ready? it. Can I? Oops. What I was trying to do was. Oh, there's still one here? I thought I mistimed. It. 
If you wonder, search the fight of... Can you read it? Kratos versus Kronos. To Njord, we offer back the seas back. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and Ooh. worshipped him here. What? So there's a chest here? Interesting. Yes, every girl's favorite game, God of War. See, Blade gets it. Blade gets it. Based. Valid and correct behavior. So there's a chest around here. Not this one, the one with the runes. More defense? Fuck no. Ah, okay. So we need... Wow. Wow! Okay, that's correct. So we need a E or an up triangle. I don't need to, but I want to. <laughs> that did it. Oh, I guess I was supposed to. And here I thought I was going off a funny whim. Oh. So that's correct. So we gotta find another Up one. There. I really want to play the new Genshin one of these days. Actually, I keep saying that, but you know, I said that ever since uh, Frenchland came out, and now we're in. What is it now? It's no longer Frenchland. It's um, Spanish Africa land. Is that how am I supposed to understand it as? Uh-oh. Oh. Frick. Oh lordy! Oh, I was trying to- Did a rock come out? Oh! Eh! Hitting in your soft spot! Oh, I let it down. I forgot how to throw it. What? What's going on over there? Ah, I keep hitting it wrong. Where? Punch! 
Oh, again. I should probably hold on to it because it hit you get more foot. No! I didn't mean that! Ah, oh, I wanna do my fun move! Body guy and Sparking Zero who just Fought a guy in Sparking who just used this and I beat him as Fat Janemba. I don't know what that means, but let's go! Alright, let's get this crystal up. Put it in its place. There. This weird dance. Oh. Ah, no. No, 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 no. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm not doing them challenges. Hell no. I haven't lost once in ranking. Oh, wow. Nice. Very nice. <gasps> Gosh. Oh, I see it now. Got this. Can I, like, throw up from here? Close enough. Give me something good like new like a new panties or glove, please. So we go up to the giant. We don't go up this way. Oh, I did? Let's double check. Gosh, their leaps and bounds better. What the heck? Here, I, I, okay. I think the panties might be better too. Hold the crap. No, not this. Okay. Yeah, there were leaps and bounds. I need to, I need to, I need to upgrade it to have a socket, but still though. Jeez. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Heck yeah, you no Do you like my new bra? I didn't think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. Well, this should be entertaining. Nah. Boy. Oh, me mirror. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. I thought it was... Oh, hello. Oh, Jesus, you throw, you throw guys at guys. Oh, there's two guys on guys. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> There's guys on guys on guys. Oh, Lordy Boo Almighty. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> Get away from me. This is too funny. I can't, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> I'm so amused. <laughs> There's so many of them. Oh. So <laughs> many people. So <laughs> many people. <laughs> Fight, 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 Get away from me. Anymore? Hello? <laughs> Get down! Stay down! Did I win? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> My god, I can't. That was... That was fun. That was amusing as heck. What was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> so much happened. So much. So much. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Alright. Hey, hello, dwarf man. The plan is forward, and we'll wing well, whatever else is along the way. Not that. Fight! Here, <laughs> catch! Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? <laughs> there is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that! It's a little trick my people can pull—a special way of not being seen. You can be invisible. More like I can step into the realm between realms, and your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so I feel so it sees girly. At all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. Ooh. It uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me. Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> <sighs> you let him touch this again. I love doing this back and forth between the brothers and my uh and my ex. <laughs> oh, he's trying to show me he's not gay. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay now, shush. 
I need complete silence for this. <laughs> what was that? Think, think. <laughs> I could have done that. Let's do it. All right. Let's see. Um. Let's even upgrade the boy. Anything you need, young sir. Perhaps. Um. Oh yeah. Nah, boy. Boy gets it. Upgrade that? No. Yes, my young man. Something else for you. Let's then. upgrade his bull. Okay. Let's upgrade his cleaver. Alright. I have enough to upgrade my my, my bra. No. That's fine. If Making sure the boy's taken care of is more than part is more important. Almost. No! No! I didn't hit it. No! I s <laughs> it goes so fast. It goes so fast. Got it. Careful! My shop's right here. <laughs> Is it though? Poor Fafnir. There's a fine line between ambition and greed, you know. Hmm. Father, over there. I'm aware. Hmm. Okay, I guess that's the only way. My cock pencil's kinda homo. Kinda queer. <laughs> We heading into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking. Hmm. Keeping an eye out. For stuff. background like a little cutie patootie. Just turns his little background being a cutie. We will show it to the dwarves. Hmm. Come here. You knew this place? Before? 
I came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war, so many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. This looks pretty forward, so... Let's see what's up here. Curious, can I? Can I not? No. Oh. oh well. Thought I can move it that way too, but I guess not. How do I daintily step down? Ah, like that. Wait. Mm. <laughs> oh god, Yuki. No! Let me go down. Oh. Is the only way up? <laughs> I genuinely thought I was supposed to go the way I went. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. like we're supposed to climb it a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on, let me think. Oh, gosh. That's so cool. Sorry, just like ga gazing at the majesty of it all. So I just want to keep shooting. Let's press B. 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 Oh. Oh, I put. Oh, I'm supposed to climb it. Okay. Go. Ooh, we got most of it. Oh, 
Okay, gotta get the timing. Hey, oh, oh. Stealthy planet is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? Nice. Alright, so free the other strap. Alright. I saw a uh, haha. <laughs> So it's that one. Oh. Where do I here? Nope. Oh. Hmm. All right. Can I go? Assuming this way. Okay. Okay, so we just got to find where the other strap is. I'm assuming somewhere over there. Gosh. Alright, I'm supposed to go up back up there, I guess. Let me get let me get a look at it. Let me get a look at it. Let me talk to him. Let me talk to him. I can't talk to him when I can't see. Just a little. No, not all the way. Why does he have to push it like all the way? Fine, push it this way. Since you have to be so extra about it. Hmm. 
wanted to get, at least give it a shot. <laughs> And you're right, yeah, I think I have to climb that strap. I was just curious. Okay. God, I have to really angle this camera on it. I really can't angle it. Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. I just leave smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to. Oh, I get it now. Good. <laughs> Going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip. Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck. Then. You are welcome to suggest a different one. Oh gosh, all right. Oh, wrong time to itch my head, huh? Oh gosh. Ah! Uh, the plan seems ill advised. Jump! No. Anticlimactic. Give me new panties. Upgrade? Takes away my strength. I don't like them. Oh no! The floor collapsed. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We cannot. <laughs> I do. I do. What does it say? When time itself is disarray, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song mother used to sing. Don't I know that one? Winter that... Quiet head. Doesn't like music either. Got it. Winter, spring. Oh. Is 
this is not the way. Winter, spring, summer. Try that. Vetter, Bauer, Sumar, Haust. It didn't work, but I know that's the order in the song Mom said. Maybe it's the other way around. Boy. Oops. Sumar. Sumar. House. No. I gotta do it from this way. So this is winter. That word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Ooh. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thola. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform. Keep writing. How is this possible? My guess? Head. Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, Boy, it does not stop do you know the about the Charmony Dove? <laughs> always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. I thought I hit it. I thought I hit it. I guess I didn't.
Da dimmen. I'm remembering, I'm remembering to use the boy more, which is awesome. What are you supposed to do? Jump. Ah. <laughs> oh, are we gonna see Big Boom? Oh, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Big Boom. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good. You should keep moving. Yeesh. The chisel tip. Give the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind.
Uh oh, it's the Twink Man. Oh no, Minecraft VTubers hide your kid? Uh oh. Oh no, I have one of those. Oh no. I gotta stop forgetting my axe everywhere. Let's see if we can upgrade my skills. Alrighty. Yes. Mm, yes. I'll focus on the boy for now because it's easier for me. No. Ah, yes. Those are the guys we saw with Baldur. His nephews? Aye, Magni and Modi. Oh, I guess Sons this way. Of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods. Why can't I go up there? The worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? I'll nah. Hmm. Let's see if Hmm. This is the only way. This is how I came. Why is it not letting me... Do I have to angle the camera in a weird way again? Yep. Ang the angle is... The camera is so specific. Great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. Yeah. I oh, am. Yeah. You just can't help but break things, can you? <laughs> if memory serves, the Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice. Oh. Hmm. Um. How do I get up there? Mm-mm-mm. Hmm. Can I just... I heard some... Yeah, we're here, it's empty. Really focus the camera. I really use my sh oh, Come on, bruh. Trying to get rid of the stupid nightmare things. Here 
really don't want to. Go away! Oh, I forgot to recall my axe. Go away! What? Why was I spinning? Why was I spinning? I think you got him. Those nightmares are way worse. Anything small and fast. All right. Again! There's aftershock. Hello. So. Oh, cool. Alright. Now, if it happened a third time... Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Very well. To All business. right. Sell that. Ah, isn't that neat? I burped. Nope. Lowers my.
Okay. Can I upgrade oh, my stuff yet? We nope. Can't you. Hmm. Oh yeah. Fine piece of work. If I say so myself. Okay. Ah. Right. Right. The boy has been putting in work. Don't forget right. to wash your hands. Will you focus on your damn job and quit that shit? I mean it. I see. <laughs> Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh-oh. <laughs> Demands it. No. <sighs> Good. Looks like Brock, Brock Lesnar. Go. <laughs> and where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother. The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need don't tell me. Where's my... Gotta... I thought I hit I thought I hit that prop bro. I thought I hit it, but I guess I didn't. Does Odin want? Don't know. Don't care. Come here, Hathaway. You don't know what that is. Shut up! Don't call me that! <laughs> Look at a light little tap and that got me. A light little woo. <laughs> little woo. A little touchy. Oh, it's a checkpoint. Stay behind me, boy. Why do you hunt us? What does Odin want? Don't know. Don't care. Come here. You don't know that is hand. Shut up! Don't call me that! <laughs> Can't believe you last this long. No skin in your heart can barely live. I said shut up! Calm yourself, boy. Looks like they need a Oh, my God. 
Thought I could. I should have went after the health items instead of going Spartan. I thought I could go Spartan. I cannot go through Spartan. If I need to heal, I need to get heals. Oh. I thought, man. Focus. Oh. How do I like switch the camera? And the other guy. Oh, right. Ooh. 
Sickness. The fever has returned. Uh, no! It hasn't. Roy! <sighs> the coffin, the blood. The boy's sick, he needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be all right. Where do you go, lad? <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. Rock. Ooh. I like stomping on him. Enough. Should do. With that, we can carve the travel room to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. Oh! Oh, it's looking for the G spot, huh? You like that, don't you? Hell yeah, doors like their G spots he being touched. That he did. He was a god, but you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps, but I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> Since yo mama. Oh wait, I just realized the time it is crap. Alrighty, so unfortunately I gotta call it. God damn it. Just to know it's getting the hang of things. So I'm remembering Atreus way more. Blocking is still a problem, but it, you know, at least I know it's there and I try. It's just bad timing. But thank you so much for joining me today. I super appreciate it. Please follow me on all the socials if you have not already. Uh, let's see what my let's see if my friends are available to read right now. Let me see. Oh, did I not spell socials right? What the heck? Now, luckily, since we got our um, oh, probably my bot is being stupid again. I don't care. Honestly, I don't care. Anyway, you you know where my socials are. Um, luckily, we already beat Mop, so. We're, unless Star Rail, like, releases something else tomorrow, I doubt it, though, um, we're gonna, like, do a little bit of dailies and then go right into frickin', uh, whatchamacallit. So, let me see. <laughs> Alright, ooh, Matt is still, ooh, wait, Enigma is playing Sly 3. Ooh. Hell yeah, we're gonna raid him. Let me just get his name here. Please try to open the crystal door from the start of the area. You'll have to remind me where. When you say at the start of the area, you mean the start of the area where I'm at? Or somewhere else on the map? Because you're, you're gonna have to remind me, because I'll be honest, there's a lot of doors. And oh wait, you mean where the witches' places? I'll, I'll, I, I remember. I think. I think. But you have to remind me that my, my brain, my brain be so 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 bad memory. When you first saw the giant, if I walk, if I happen and walk by it, heck yeah, the giant's head. Okay, I'll try to remember that. Anyway, I'll be back on tomorrow, uh, 6 p.m. EST, more Star Rail, 
more what you call it. Definitely, definitely way more God of War. Now that we're done with um mock and stuff. So anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. And until then, bye bye.